How much, how much will I do here? I'm expecting at least 50k, right? Bang. 100,000 damage. Ladies and gentlemen, Pioneer said DPS adventure aid. Don't sleep on his damage, man. Oh, wait. That's quite a bit. Hello, Internet! And today, we are greeted by the suicidal gambler. So, you know, in his story, he's like, oh, I want to bet my life every time. But we'll do anything but suiciding today. Let's look at the stat line. We have 4.2 thousand defense. I am not dying, okay? We got decent speed, decent crit damage as well, but the crit rate is low. However, his trace that gives him 48 crit rate will basically mean I kind of crit almost every time, right? In terms of Lycon, I got his zone. Let's just see what he can do. Trace wise, I got 88. It's just the general um, investment in all characters. As for relics, this is the one that I want to try that's new. I've tried it in the beta before. That was on the night set. But right now, we're going to try the pioneer set. Apparently, his damage is actually fairly solid. We'll, we'll check it out, though. And today, we'll be featuring his best setup. The new meta of Honkash Dariel. We have the follow-up attack frenzy. And then we'll fight this inventory. I can't even three-star this week. This is how annoying this week is. But yeah, here we have it. Inventory's annoying part number one. You have to RNG the technique. But I won it this time, so nice. I've tried it in the beta. There is a possibility that you can do that five times and just not get through of a kind. Now, normally you would think, okay, Topaz is the, you know, support ratio is the main damage dealer. Well, eventually is like the sustain. Not in this case. I think all of them are just DPS in their own right. It's a lot of fun, guys. I mean, I already showed it in the beta, but I can't wait to see it in my own account. Now, in the creator experience server, I did this in one cycle. I do not think my account is good enough for that, though, but we'll see. 77k damage right there. And now we have Dr. Ratio. What's so good about this team is every follow -up attack I do, I'll get a blind bet stack on eventually. You can check it out yourself right here. It's a massive damage there. And yeah, for every blind bet stack I take and I gain, it's one step closer to the seven, which will activate this. This actually does quite a bit. Look at that, 40k. And that is against this dinosaur. I didn't know before, but apparently this guy has the safeguard buff, which is so annoying. Basically, he takes a lot less damage unless we break up. So the fact that I have the 40k still while this guy's that annoying is pretty impressive though. But either way, let's have Numbi murder this blue obese penguin. And a bang, you are not dead. Holy crap. This is what I mean by my account's dark crap. Well, anyways, we'll keep going now. Now we have a Venturine. I think I'll focus on the dinosaur now. I have an ulti, but keep in mind this dinosaur has the buff that reduces damage. So this won't look a lot at all, but it will still be something like, you know, 23k into another prop for blind blood. 31k there. On the normal enemy without the shield on this dinosaur, I would have done like 40, 50k with Venturine, right? That's actually pretty good. Now the question, how do I deal with this penguin? I think I have to spend one hit on the penguin. So bang, that's some damage right there. And again, that is the penguin. I'll spend my ultimate on the dinosaur. And Numbi here is going to take the turn. Oh, wait. And can I just one shot, maybe? Bang. Oh. Okay, never mind. Well, that's a damn shame. I'm gonna just do a Q. And here we have it. We did spend one cycle. It's, it's not the end of the world. But in terms of just survivability with Aventurine, right now I'm the Pioneer set, right? That, yo, that follow-up attack did nothing. But right now I've got an Aventurine with 4k defense. He has the Pioneer set, so I get more crit damage and crit rate as well. I'm on 87 right now, 200. This looks like a blade stat button on defense main. But my shield on everyone, though, is as thick as Topaz's die. I ain't taking damage, man. That's how thick I am. Now we'll chuck the Numbi to Kokoli. It is time to get my ulti, and now this is when my team goes to, like, god mode. So I'm gonna activate a lot of things after this, and I need to start critting Dr. Ratio, or else I might touch you inappropriately. Here comes the 7 blind bed, and we are doing 27,000. It's actually okay, considering they have their shield, and Kukuri is not weak to imagery, right? 16k next though. It's kind of random the amount of damage I do. But bear with me. The moment I have my ulti with Aventurine, you'll get to see the true damage that he can do to a Cochlear. Here comes the Numbi. This should be a lot. Holy crap, 100k. I don't think we need to hit Cochlear even. Well, wow, this sucks. I'm gonna just use a Q on the dinosaur then. I'm hoping to break him. Yes, I can break him. So there should be a lot of damage, right? So let's see. Add a bag. 55k. I think his shield was still in play for that damage happened. Dude, I was hitting the target Cochlear where she has no damage damage mitigation, but I feel like Kukulia is dead at this point. I don't have to do that. And <laughs> dude, can we not miss our crits? But yeah, that's 50k though right there. Here comes the L plus ratio ulti. And here comes the Numbi on Kokolia. I think Kokolia dies. Let's focus on the gosh dang dinosaur since you're broken, right? You should take a bunch more damage. Yep, you're almost dead there. I think you're dead. Look at that synergy. Holy. Oh, yeah, it's the fall attack team. It just sinks so beautifully. Now, do I have to take one more cycle? I'll be mad if that happens. Here comes the E. If I crit, I think you're dead. Come on, crit. Bang. 
Oh, I swear to- Oh, thank God. If it's gonna be 1% again that took my extra cycle, I would have lost it. And that is 2 cycle. And yo, adventuring damage-wise, don't sleep on him. He's the best bet. <laughs> Get it? Because he's a gambler. He's the best bet you have for a sustain that you want some damage on. Wait, you know what? I've already showcased the first fight in the creator experience server. Let's try adventuring versus adventuring. And here we go. We have the final fight. I am yet to 3 star this stage at all. And I don't know if I can right now, but I'll try. This is one of the setups that's popular with adventuring. What's Sparkle and Ron May. And with Sparkle, you actually want to consider pushing Aventry himself, especially when he has like ulti or blind bet coming up. This extra crit damage should be really good for him. But here we go with Clara, or I should say Sparag. Now, every time they hit Clara, I get a fall attack, I get a blind bet for Aventry. So that's how the synergy would work in my head. But regardless, let's see how it works now. How much damage will I do? 82k into blind bet with 24k. So we can tell. If possible at all, yeah, that's a lot of damage to Clara, Jesus. If at all possible, I want to have Dream Diver buff from Sparkle on Clara and on Aventurine at the same time. Let's see how it goes. We'll continue. Right now, Clara does have Dream Diver, so it will make the most sense for me to go Aventurine. Now, I'm gonna test this, right? This is for the sake of testing. I'm gonna push Aventurine and see what happens. And I also realized I have way too much, uh skill points on this team. But either way, blind bet goes 46,000. You can tell the damage gets higher, right? If I can get both um, of my follow-up attackers to have the crit damage buff. But this is the kicker. I was facing against the dinosaur with damage mitigation, but now we don't have that on this fat guy. How much damage will I do here? I'm expecting at least 50k, right? Bang. 100,000 damage. Ladies and gentlemen, Pioneer said DPS adventure aid. Don't sleep on his damage, man. Oh, wait, that's quite a bit. Now, at any moment, if I add from a blind bet, I still have my crit damage from intact. So look at the damage, dude. 100k to 55k. Hell yeah. <laughs> Did you see my... <laughs> My whole team got F-Rest, yo. That's nice to adventure in some talent. That's just one slight issue I would say. It might be taking too long. And here's where I need to make some decisions. I think here's exactly where I should push adventuring instead to get the ulti in. I really want to edit in this cycle, so this is what I'm going to invest on. You know, as he says, all or nothing. Let's go with the ulti. Bang at 64k. That should be more than enough for you to wake up, hit Clara, and die. I'm going to even attack. You're not? Oh, for God's sake. Do I have to wait for one more cycle? Are you kidding me? Here we go with the E. Okay, surely the mob would attack Clara. Or, or you know what? That works too. Okay. Now we have adventure. I've heard Clara's good here. My adventure has 300 crit damage. That's more than my Jing Liu, man. What the shit? I'll push the Clara. Now then, touch me. Oh, hell yeah. Get the blind medit and the counter attack. How much will my Q do, actually, man? It's 8,000. Nothing insane. It's actually not low enough that you could just sleep on it, either. I have only three cycles to finish you. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I'll try the best. We get the blind bet and the counter attack that didn't crit as well. Heck no. Now we finally have the bet. You rolled a six. I've played this enough times to know that I could roll a one and a two and then just lose. I'm hoping that doesn't happen. We'll see now. It's all RNG. Nothing I can do. I did roll a nine, so great. That means one more LT. Why not use it, right? Okay, I can see why Clara's kind of good here. Clara does not have Dream Diver, so for sure I gotta push her. And after this, we could push um, Aventurine instead, if I get a chance to. We go with an E. It's not doing too much, I would say. I need you to attack me more, man. Bang, get a counter in. 74k. And my barrier is actually not looking good either. I don't have enough follow-up attacks for me to keep that barrier up for too long. But I lost some health with Sparkle. Uh-oh. Gonna push on to you. And now what I'll do is have the ulti go in. Let's look at this damage, baby. And... Yay, 39k. Not that much, actually. Now that I think about it, you have a imaginary rest, so of course, dude. Of course. Well, that sucks. Eventually, sucks against Eventually. Right, we finally defeated his first phase. Now we're at the second phase. We're gonna start with a strong counter. 120k, so... There is a chance, guys. Oh, okay. Maybe the chance died. I needed a crit there, Clara. I have only one cycle left for the three star. Oh, gosh. We'll be pushing Clara again. I needed to get an LT up. Let's go with an E. Oh, I'm not doing too much. Actually, 50k is solid, but I would, I would prefer more. And I just realized, dude, my shield is just not enough right now. Here comes the damage on me. Okay, I need to stop just not using skill points on the ventry. I need to start using them. Here comes the gosh dang dices. You rolled an eight. It is over. I guess at this point, I might as well use an E on the ventry because, well, I'm dead anyway. Now, if I hit four. Or die and low below um eight i would cry we get our ultimate in now okay this is kind of good you're gonna wake up right you're gonna give me back my ulti i have everest on my entire team so uh, 
I don't think that's enough to survive. Oh, no. You're gonna attack me. Clara counters how much of this may. 100k. I don't think it's enough, guys. I will win, but it will not be a three-shot clear. Oh, dude. All I need happen now is for Clara to just finish this 42% off. Can we not go into the die phase again? That pisses me off. Here comes the counter. 100k. Great. Before blind bets, get my shield recharged again. We have more die. It's good for Clara, though. We keep getting our ult back, right? Like, I cannot complain with that. Bang. Yep, we got more than eight. Beautiful. So now we get our free ulti. Now, just attack not sparkle. Oh, come on. Oh, this stage is so annoying. All right, we got him. We still lost someone. Oh, my gosh. And it's one cycle off, so I could have definitely won this. If I, I I would say it's not even for the second phase. If I had clear first phase faster, which, come on, this team is a troll team, definitely would have been the three star. And that is what happens when you use a Venturine against anyone that's not, like, ideal. Against an ideal situation, you have your whole follow-up attack team. That team is so good, right? Two cycle clear against uh, Kokolia with all these annoying dinosaurs. So I would say good job for that team to clear it that fast. But the second phase, holy crap, you are annoying. Like, it finished it off in like six cycles. We can definitely like farm more RNG, farm it better. But that's the thing. I hate farming RNG. My luck's terrible. But ladies and gentlemen, that was a Venturine with the Pioneer set. The peak damage he was able to do was 100,000 on a single target. That is nothing to scoff at. Yeah, I would say the best setup is actually Pioneer set because you are gonna have enough um, barrier if you run a fall of attack team. Now, if you don't have enough, definitely use your E, right? Do not hesitate to use the E. Especially my second team there with Clara. I didn't have to use too much skill points anyway, so I should have used my E more Venturine. And yeah, these are the other stats if you're wondering. Let me show. Go Robin right here on the Watchmaker set. And here's Dr. Ratio. My ratio is like nothing inside even. My speed's abysmal. Yeah, Topaz. Topaz is like a, a pretty mid Topaz. And considering Dr. Ratio is free, everyone should have him and a Venturine at least. So if you don't have a sustain, I think a Venturine is definitely a, a pull. Considering how good he pairs with uh, Dr. Ratio as well. But I would prefer to have all three together though. That's so nice to use. But yeah, anyways, that'll be all for now. I'll be cooking more Venturine. And yeah, do comment down below any ideas you might have. I have read a comment of using Chingtre, the King of Gambler, against the King of Gambler Venturine. What an interesting idea, man. But for now, that is all. Take care.